feel to be walking down the street knowing that you got my attention and security? Like, 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 in case no, it's the most fun. I mean, I've been to Comic-Con before, but just walking with husband and no one cares, but now all of a sudden, <laughs> it's a different story. <laughs> I like to go everywhere with Mike if I could. Oh wow, that's amazing, that's amazing. Well, first of all, I'm, hot, I'm with Hot 97, I'm a hip-hop gamer, we all you know, love what's about to happen with this. Yeah. Another question that I had was, when it comes to just the idea of the diversity of everybody working together, I right. think that's the part that's beautiful. So when you think about the cultures that you all come from, how does that work together when you work with uh, like with the cast, like yeah, yeah, with the, and yeah, with the cast and everybody. Working I mean, together. it's very fun. I mean, uh, Jim Rash and I and Hugh Davidson, who's the producer and head writer, we all know each other from the Groundlings, which is an improv comedy troupe in Los Angeles. So we all work together, wrote together, performed together for a really long time. And then I've been a fan of Norm my whole life. I mean, I think he's truly one of the funniest people in the world. And then now, seeing a side of Mike um, that I had never seen before, he's really funny. And you get to see him as a father, you know, yeah, to yeah. my character in the show. And um, it's very it's sweet. It's crazy. It's crazy. But it works. It's re it weirdly, they seem like a, a weird, perfect family. Just out of curiosity, if you don't mind. Well, no, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> When you go through the show, there's a lot of elements in the show that are taken like from Mike uh, from Mike Tyson's life, like the deal with the pigeons and everything else. Mm -hmm. Did you guys have to do any kind of studying to talk with Mike and you know uh, go over what it's been like through his life to, to catch on to these uh, to these elements in the show and work with those and you know turn those into humor? Um, I mean, we don't really tackle anything serious. Right, right, right. Um, certainly, the pigeon aspect is, of course, you know, from him. Um, He's a fan of animation, so I think he's been really sort of wanting to know, you know, whatever we've come up with or Hugh's come up with, he's been, you know, really eager to do it. Um, so not, not really, I don't think. <laughs> I have a bit of a double question. All right. All right, I've seen some of the previews of the yes. show. Uh, it has a lot of remnants of Scooby doing it. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel about that? Okay. Are you a Scooby Doo fan? It's also, how do you feel about Saturday morning cartoons being brought to kids in this generation? I love, I grew up with Saturday morning cartoons, loving them. I was obsessed with them. Um, so, of course, I like Scooby Doo. This certainly has, obviously, the visual feel of it. I think Yankee is a bit of a Velma. She's kind of a bummer. <laughs> My character is a bit of like, she keeps going like, guys. Um, but uh, I think you know, there's it's adult. It's very adult. Our show. There's a lot of cursing. There was none of that on, on in Scooby Doo. Yeah. Um, but it's sort of like an homage, but with a twist. You know. Yeah. It's not. The stories aren't um, sort of stereotypical. Like um, you know, there's no one getting unmasked at the end of each episode. They're really kind of crazy, but they're also really about the relationship with these these four people. So the show seems really kind of out of control. Um, you know, really, really wild oh, no. from the trailers I've seen so far, which is awesome. Oh, like, oh it's In good. a good okay. way. Oh, good. Um, so uh, how, do you, uh, how do you get in the mindset of uh, your character on the show? Like, you know, how do you, like, you know, you know it's going to be like kind of a silly sort of crazy experience. Like, you know, when you're, when you're about to go into the voice studio, like how right. do you get in that mindset? Uh, well, they're just really fun because I'm in there with Jim Rash and Norm. And it is, you know, I I've written maybe a handful of the scripts from season one, so I also know, I have a little advantage, I know exactly what we wrote, um, but uh, I just go in and I laugh and, and Norm and Jim and try and react and stay present. The performance that Mike gives is very real. He's not, no one's doing a big character, I mean, Jim is being fairly Jim, uh, Norm is being himself, I try and act as real as I can. That's what Mike's doing. So no one's playing at these characters, which I think gives it a level of uh, groundedness in the craziness that is the world. So I think otherwise it would be almost like if the characters were crazy and then the events were crazy, it would be too much. Mm -hmm. So it's grounded craziness. Can you, uh, because the season hasn't been released yet, can right. you give us some, some insight as to what we can expect? I mean, outside the trailer, which is, right. which is ridiculously hilarious, what can we expect to see in the season? Um, any, you know, obviously like what some of the mysteries 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what, I mean, what, you, yeah. what you find out that, or okay. what you found that was really, really entertaining for you that we can look forward to is okay. Well, there's people. crazy, crazy mysteries, you know, where Mike ends up, you know, in Nicaragua, and Mike fights with Chupacabra, and, <laughs> but then we have a mystery where he's just trying to help a couple find their dream house. Wow. <laughs> that is so, crazy. You know, so it, it runs the gamut. <laughs> is that you, for you, for you, what's your, uh, like, off camera, like, yeah. behind the scenes, you know, what's your most, like, fondest memory of, like, you know, doing the show with Mike and, ha and the whole cast, really, you know? What? Uh, I mean, it's really, it's going anywhere with Mike is very exciting. Um, I would also say the voice records with Norm MacDonald because those records should, I mean, it's, it's like an 11 minute show. The report, you know, yeah. it shouldn't take that long. They take hours because wow. Norm just talks. Yeah, and he's probably and, hilarious. And, and, he's I, just, yeah. and I don't <laughs> ever want him to be quiet, so I'm happy to listen to every story he's saying. And, and so, is, uh, great. is each episode one mystery, or do you have like two parters? Or no, each one is a mystery. Each one is a mystery, and you don't need to have seen the one before. We don't really have a story, you know, going on. Last question, guys. Oh, oh, sorry. You ain't get a question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, real quick, how did your how did your experience working with Matt translate over to like Adult Swim? Like, are they similar or is it really different? I, mean, I was doing a lot of wacky, different voices on Matt. I would do little kid voices. And use all uh, that was more probably for my groundlings training, being able to do different things with my voice. This one, you know. Luckily, I'm a grown woman that sounds like a child. <laughs> so it's finally working out for me. I didn't have to do much with my voice except try, try and act, you know, well. So. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.